Everybody knows that my channel is built on the latest and greatest fragrances and technology and the combination of both of them. <laughs> That's the biggest bullshit ever. Yo, I literally just spent like $200 on air. True story. Let's roll my motherfucking music because I'm going to put you onto a fragrance that I purchased right off of Instagram that legit is supposed to be made out of air. I like to waste money. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. The company is literally called the air company so when you think that i've gone to the lengths of just stupidity then you realize that i've spent money on an instagram product that made by a company called the air company and essentially it's fragrance made out of air i've lost my mind either i'm exorbitantly rich and i can just throw money away or i'm losing it it's the latter so I finally got the fragrance. I haven't smelled it. All I've done is open it from the presentation and this is the Air Company's Air O de Parfum. The Air Company, Air O de Parfum. Cuba, you're losing it. So Cuba, why did you spend 200 bucks on an air fragrance? Well, I looked up the website and something about it really caught my attention as far as the way the earth and the world is moving with the eco-friendliness, green.com, shitty ass Teslas all over the place. There's a lot of pieces of information, a lot of things going on that, you know, maybe there's cool shit coming out of it and maybe fragrance is one of them. So I'm gonna pull up the website because I want to read you information on that because you know that in this channel, information is the last thing that's important to me. I wanna know if this shit smells good. But this is much more than, oh, does it smell good? There's technology and other shit behind it. So according to the air company, this is the world's first carbon negative fragrance. No idea what that means. A revolution in scent science. This is turning the earths, not earth, earths, excess CO2 into something beautiful. Word. The future of fragrance is transformative. A world first genderless scent inspired by the elements. Okay. All right, so the top notes are orange peel, fig leaf. I like fig. The mid is jasmine, violet, and azalea. The base is powdery musk and tobacco. Sounds very interesting. But it says, we work with nature, not against it. Our carbon conversion technology mimics photosynthesis, photosynthesis to transform CO2 into impurity-free ethanol. Are we driving a supercharged Civic? Where's the E85 at? So it's essentially 75% ethanol, 12% essential oil. The only thing more captivating than the bottle is what's inside. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not the smartest guy, not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Let's be clear and surprise, y'all knew that. But I found it interesting and you smart people would definitely know a lot more than me. So let's open this joint up and see what all this hullabaloo is about. Oh, I just broke the whole shit. All right, this is actually a very cool looking bottle. It looks definitely something out of the Jetsons meets Elon Musk meets, I mean, technology. Check this joint out. Very clean presentation, heavy duty cap. Maybe some sort of rotor or gear or something. It's, it's very cool, it's very captivating. I definitely like the presentation, the cleanliness of it. Being such a clear bottle, I don't see any impurities or anything floating in here that would make it suspect. Uh, other than the fact that it's called the Air Company and I spent 200 bucks, so that's suspect enough. Let's get into the smelling of this fragrance, right? I think there's a lot of cool technology based on all the shit that they're saying in the company, but it's a fragrance that's engineered apparently in New York, so let's show my NY people some love and let's see if I didn't spend 200 bucks on something that smells like nothing, like a molecule or one, and I don't have to throw this across the wall and put a hole in my sheetrock. Wow, the first time ever that I spray a fragrance and it, there's, oh, it's magnetic. I didn't know that, look. Oh, very cool. Oh, it definitely smells like something. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. There is an alcoholic kind of smell, but it doesn't smell like the traditional perfumer's alcohol that I'm kind of used to. It's definitely not as harsh or abrasive either. There's a very clean airiness about the fragrance. And I don't mean note wise, like a clean, fresh fragrance, more like clean, like the difference in possibly drinking tap water versus filtered water clean, uh, cleaner air, purified is better said. There is a purifiedness about this fragrance that's very different, very different. I'll give it that. You definitely get a citric, mandarish kind of figgy note. There's definitely more emphasis on the citrus components, but there is something here that is very different than anything I've experienced. I'll, I'll give it that, That's it intrigues me for sure. There is a very different purified alcohol, cleaner, I get the, I don't know, that clean energy, clean environmental vibe based on description and presentation. I get it, I do get it. Now does the fragrance blow me away? No. Is it nice? Very wearable, very chill very airy, clean. It's citric forward and airy. Doesn't smell like a designer bullshit. It doesn't smell cheapy, but it also doesn't smell overly complex either. Other than it's citric, purified, different, but I don't get much anything else off of it. Let me try a little bit on skin, see how it does with the little pH levels. I like the, I like the magnet top. I mean, other fragrances have magnet top, but this is actually satisfying because of the weight of it. Mm. Very faint. Very faint. Molecule or one-ish kind of faint. Like one spray does zero. Two sprays, you get, again, same kind of feeling that I get off the test strip. Citric, different alcohol, purified, clean. A little bit of tobacco essence, slight, does come up quite quick on the second spray. But it's not a, what I would consider a powerhouse fragrance either. It's very faint, it's very light. I know it's an Eau de Parm perfume concentration and maybe it has that molecule one effect that you're kind of lost to it and other people may smell it, but it's very, very, very light to my nose. It's cool if the technology behind it is what they're saying it is, then it is very cool. It's a little gimmicky, but that doesn't mean it's bad. But the fact is that I'm probably paying for the technology and story behind it more so than the scent, which is kind of, leaving me wanting more, leaving me unsatisfied. You know, the sensation that most married men feel. It's a very, very light fragrance. Uh, as far as first impressions go, if I were to rate it a scale of one to 10, mm, three, five, maybe a four because of the story and technology behind it. But if I'm going based off scent, it's very, very light, very clean, a different experience. So maybe I'm being a little abrasive on the score. Unfortunately, although the presentation is very cool, technology sounds very cool, the environmental aspect of it sounds cool, the sense, which is what we're here and what it's about, nothing jaw dropping. Let me know what you guys think of this presentation and the technology behind it. And if you would be willing to pay this kind of money for technology and really not get so much out of it. At least that's how I feel. Unfortunately, it's not a ball sprayer for me, but let me know what you guys think. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.